I grew up in Wisconsin in the 80s, and I came out of my mom's womb the gayest creature you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, and if you've never been to Wisconsin in the 80s, it's not a great place to be gay. <laughs> So it was rough. It was really, really rough. And if you've never been to Wisconsin in the 80s and gone to Catholic school, <laughs> it's even worse. Um, I couldn't hide my gayness. There was nothing I could do about it. So uh, when I got to ninth grade, um, I was tortured. And uh, it was really bad. And that year, I spent a lot of time wishing that I was dead. I spent a lot of time wishing I was dead. I spent a lot of time writing letters to God asking him to make me not gay anymore. Well, I didn't get any responses, and I'm still gay. So it didn't work. Um, but the hardest part for me were, were two things. One was gym class, which was awful. And the other was lunch. And we had to go to lunch every day. And um, so. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to get out of gym class. One of them was I would go down to my dad's workroom in my basement, and he had a vice. And I would put my arm in the vice, and I would take a wrench, and I would try to get the, cur I called it courage, um, to break my wrist so that I wouldn't have to go to gym class. Um, couldn't do it, didn't do it. And then I spent a lot of time at the top of my basement stairs trying to get the courage to throw myself down the stairs. Couldn't do that either. Um, so I went to gym class and it was awful. But lunch, I thought, I can get out of lunch. There is a biology teacher who seems like she kind of knows what's going on. She's not stopping it, because um, in the early 90s they didn't stop it, especially at Catholic school. But I asked her, I said, can I come to your biology lab and can I study during lunch? And that was code. I, she knew what was going on and she said, you can. And that one little act of her letting me into her biology lab changed my life. Um, and it allowed me to survive. And I think about that, you know, we, I think you guys know the phrase, it gets better, right? We didn't have that in 1992. Um, and I don't even love it gets better now because I think when people say it gets better, it doesn't help when you are in that moment, when you are a freshman in high school and you're being tortured. Someone saying eight years from now, four years from now, it's gonna get better. That means nothing to you because every single day is about survival. So what mattered to me was kindness, was that act of kindness that that biology teacher showed me. And she said, I will give you this place where you can be safe. Um, and I was safe, and I left that school, and, and here I am today, and I, I think that that's a really amazing thing. Mm -hmm.